Yo, what's going on guys? Kylie Cowboy here coming at you with another video of the Dallas and Miami recap. Um, I'm also going to be getting into my fantasy team that uh, yesterday night that I, you know, I completed. I didn't get to watch the game as a result, but you know, I watched the recap and I got to, you know, see pretty much what happened in the game and uh, some bright spots, some good things that happened. So first I'm going to get into my fantasy team. If you play fantasy football, you know, you can go ahead and leave a comment below of your team or, or leave a comment of what you think of my team. And this league is a two quarterback league. It, uh, we have one, uh, uh, two, two running backs, two wide receivers, one tight end. Uh, we play with defensive players as well, individual defensive players, kicker, and a team defense. So my team is Aaron Rodgers, first round, two quarterback league, so I had to take Aaron Rodgers. Uh, DeMarco Murray, second round, coming back with that, that pick. Uh, then the swing pick, uh, Tony Romo. Tony Romo, Murray, hey. You know, boys <laughs> all day. And so I got, uh, got my two quarterbacks with Romo and Rodgers. And uh, Monte Ball coming back with another uh, running back. Got to make sure you have them running backs because uh, this year I think it's, uh, it's going to be a little thin at the running back position. So, yeah, I got that. Uh, finally came back with my wide receiver Alshon Jeffrey in the fourth round or fifth round Alshon Jeffrey uh, He broke out last year. I think he's just gonna continue that this year. He's gonna be a nice wide receiver for me uh, Then I went tight end. I went Dennis Pitta from the Ravens uh, Pitta, Pitta was injured last year. I really I picked him too last year, but and I got burned by it So I'm just hoping again, you know, I'm picking him again this year. Hopefully he won't get injured, you know, just uh, <laughs> Try it again. Why not? <laughs> And uh, then after that, I went with my first uh, defensive player, J.J. Watt. And normally defensive players go way later than this, but J.J. Watt is just so dominant on defense, and he gives you a, a ton of points in fantasy. So I had to make him an emphasis. I wanted to get the Seahawks defense, but they got took before I could take them. Uh, so I took J.J. Watt. And after that, I got Fitzgerald and Crabtree. Those are some value picks I thought that I got late and, like, they just kept sliding down, sliding down, and I was like, okay, I'll just take them. <laughs> you know, like, why not? I got wide receiver depth. So after that, I took the Rams, St. Louis Rams defense. I think they're going to be a nice D. Uh, tight end, backup tight end, uh, Ertz. He's another one that was falling. I was like, why not? Take the value. Uh, then I went Emmanuel Sanders, Steven Ridley, Johnny Manziel to back up Romo and Rodgers. He's just a... Uh, Upside pick. I, I believe Manziel is going to come in at some point in the season, and I think he's going to tear it up. That's my opinion. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment below on Manziel. <laughs> and um, after that, Pierre Thomas, and then ID, IDP players, Bobby Wagner, Tim Jennings, Morgan Burnett, uh, running back Carlos Hyde from the 49ers, and Dan Bailey for my kicker. <laughs> so that's my fantasy team. Uh, you can let me know what you think. It's a two-quarterback league, so, you know, I think I'm, I'm good. I like my team. But uh, let me know what you think. And uh, if you have a fantasy team or you play or, you know, you, you want to say anything about it, just go ahead and drop a comment below of your team or anything. So now let me get into the recap of the Dallas game versus Miami, the preseason game, uh, third preseason game. And uh, pretty much what I saw in the first half was our offensive line giving up sacks, three sacks in the first half. And I saw that Ronald Leary was uh, – he gave up the first one, even though it looked like it was Tyron Smith. It was really Ronald Leary because he gave up the inside pressure that forced Romo to, he, he couldn't step up. So, you know, he was, you know, just right there. And then and then uh, Olivier Vernon, Vernon came around the corner and sacked Romo because Tyron Smith pushed him way off. But then he just kept running, 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 and then he got a sack. So, yeah. And then the other two were on Doug Free. I think Doug Free needs to be replaced by the end of this year, honestly. Um, he's cool, but he's not elite, and we need elite. We need another Tyron Smith on that side. So the next year's draft, I think we need to take a top tackle, if not defensive player, but at least second round. We need or a free agent or something because we need uh, we need to complete our line. Because right now I love our line. It's like the left side is complete. Center, left guard, tackle, left tackle is is good. Our right guard is good good too, for now, and. Our weakest spot is the right tackle, Doug Free. I don't like Doug Free, really. But, hey, you know, he gave up two sacks in the first half. Not good at all. Uh, Romo getting hit for the first time, you know, I think that's a good thing because he gets used to getting hit already, not, you know, waiting until the first week of the regular season to, to get his hits out, uh, to get hit. 
So he gets his hit, hits out of the way. You know, he gets used to you know some contact. So that's pretty good. And he, he responded well to it. So you know, uh, you know he was out of sync. Uh, the offense was out of sync from what I saw in the highlights. So <clears throat> not worried about that really. I know the offense is going to get on point. So uh, just looking forward to the uh, to the defense. Switch over to the defensive side of the ball now. Um, from what I saw, the uh, defense did better. They gave up a couple runs to No. Sean Moreno, but you know that could be worked on. That's r nothing really. And uh, you know we we're, we're already bad. We know we're bad at run defense, so you know we we need to get better at that anyway. But what stood out to me was Tyler Patton. I don't know who that is. He's an undrafted rookie free agent, and you know he had two interceptions and a fumble for and one touchdown like for a cornerback. Wow, that's amazing. And he's an undrafted rookie, so that, you know he stepped up when uh, we need him because we got Scandrick out for four games and. You know, we definitely need to depth that secondary, so that was awesome. And uh, other than that, you know, Laurent Bird had a touchdown. Uh, Newsom, uh, the other wide receiver, is pretty impressive. So I, I like those guys too, Laurent Bird and Newsom. Tyler Patton, other people that need to step up. Uh, Minter, uh, the whole D-line. <laughs> uh, Rolando McClain needs to keep progressing, and we need to just see this defense step up. Brandon Carr was back playing. Mo Claiborne needs to step up as well. And uh, Barry Church recovered a fumble today, so that was cool. Or yesterday. Today is a uh, Sunday. I couldn't wake up and, like uh, last night. I was too tired to you know do the recap video. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Dallas versus Miami recap. 25-20, uh, I believe. If not, then hey. But yeah, it's in the twenties. <laughs> but yeah, that was the recap. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment below. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Uh, I will be coming out with more videos, like I've been saying, and I have. And uh, you know, I'm waiting till the regular season. That's when, when it's really going to get started. When I'm really going to get down to it, um, I'm going to be doing like a, a raw reaction Monday or something, or or a raw reaction right after the game. I'm going to just turn on the camera, and whatever uh, I react is what what happens. So, I mean, I, I get pretty mad after a loss, you know, and uh, sometimes I'm just like angry. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, go ahead and like and subscribe, uh, comment below. Thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned.